Okay, everybody, it was only a week ago and we did an unboxing video that time for the MG Providence and we are here again, this time with the new real grade, the gold frame, Amatsumina. So um, let's just pop this baby open and okay. see what's inside what do we there. Got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, we mixed some things up. Um, <laughs> this, sorry, this is a Super Fumina <laughs> Axis Angel version. Can you pass me the lid? Oh. Okay, we'll find the right one. You sure? Sorry. Okay. That also came in too. Well, maybe someday we'll get a real grade for Super Fumina. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> I mean, okay, so here's our box of parts. And uh, there, there's some interesting things we need to mention here. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I guess we'll start with just the, you know, the pretty basic stuff here there's the uh, sticker sheet rg sticker sheet contains foils you know in that gold color and that silver color and it looks like there's a lot of like you know very distinct markings for shoulders and things like that um now <clears throat> when it comes to the the runners here oh and let me uh, get our camera in there for close-ups because we need to talk about some things now the b runner is always the rg runner it contains that frame this one is the same as the ashtray you know, the red one that came out not so long ago. But you can see they've molded it in black and gold for the Amatsu Mina colors. So okay. There you go. Frame 10. We did show that build in some detail. So you can look at that build for an idea of what this build will be like. It's the armor parts that are different. Now, um, I want to show this runner. This runner is the A runner. Mm. And you can see that there's just something that was there that's not there anymore. It's kind of funny, they left the tabs on there. <laughs> I know, usually they kind of get those out of there. But um, This is actually just says um, Gundam Astray, and it has been used for all the color variations of the Astray Gundam that they've put out in the real grade line. But <clears throat> below that was a brand new runner. <clears throat> Sorry, here we go. Okay. Now, normally in RG kits, <clears throat> clearing my throat here. Normally in RG kits, the multicolored runners are maybe C, uh, sometimes A. Uh, this one is L. L. So that means that they, they're using a lot of probably runners from other kits, which will have those de designations B, C, D, E, F, etc. So the new one they had to make was L. Mm. So this is a brand new one. We've got multiple colors. And one thing that needs to be mentioned, and we'll show it in more detail in a second, is that it looks like they, on the black, they have decided to go with that glossy black that I remember seeing from... Uh, the Darth Vader Star Wars model kit that we're not allowed to talk about anymore. <laughs> this one isn't as glossy as the one I'm going to show you in a second here. So it's still a bit glossy. It though, is but glossy, not but as glossy. Not as glossy. Look at that glossiness. Oh, there we go. That is a glossy runner. We like glare. You know, I think when they did the HG Astray Gold Frame Amatsu Mina a couple of years ago, they they had some gloss on that black as well. And you can see there's some big parts here. That's going to be for the backpack. Right. This is the M runner. So there's a lot of a lot of different designations we do not normally see. Weapons here. So that is a shiny runner. Be careful, don't scratch the shine. Yep. All right, now here is the Q. Q1 runner will have parts for the weapons, uh, blades here. Of course, we're gonna look more detail at the manual to figure out exactly what we're looking at. That is a kind of purplish color. Okay, and this one does say gold frame on there. So That's right, it does say gold frame. Amatsu, the kanji is Amatsu. 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 Yes, so um, we have what are the E runners. So now we're getting back into stuff we've seen before. Uh, Just, you know, the, the designation runners. is low. And it says kind of mastery. Now, we'll probably be using a lot of these parts from the D and E and P runners. That P is new. Amatsumina. Yeah. So we'll be using a lot of these parts from the original Astray kit. But some of the gold is going to be done with new. P parts mm. right there. And they've even given you new hands, giving you new hands as well. That's kind of cool. And uh, this looks like it's going to be for, of course, the backpack, the backpack there, the uh, wings. Maybe the, the, those wings will come out. It's going to be interesting. <clears throat> and another shiny, shiny, glossy runner, N1. And that's got a nice, nice sheen to it. And uh, there's a second one of that, actually. So there oh, you go. Okay. two N1 runners. One, two. You'll be using all those because these are designated as they should be, right? Amatsumina. Uh, Mm, yeah, yep. gold frame Amatsu. Um, <clears throat> sorry, here's a gold runner we also didn't show. It's at the okay. bottom of the pile. So we got the O runner. Yeah, so O and P are the <clears throat> O and P. It's OP. <laughs> o and P are the gold, the new gold parts you for your gold frame. I'm not down with OPP, but I am <laughs> OP. And now we got a, a few small ones. So this one is from the Astray. You know, we saw these. It's almost uh, the same color as well, that gray. We have a clear stand. Oh which will help us hold this 
weapons. Is that the same one we might have seen with the Quanta? I the Quant? And we have some effect parts. Okay, got the shield in there. Yeah, the shield and whatever it is on the trident, I believe, on that end. And then we have something. A wire. Oh. I guess he's going to be shooting out some stuff, but look at that as well. Oh. Two different lengths of wire, so he will have some projectile type of weapons. Here we go. Now, here's the manual. I'm loving that shot. Um, you look at the back here, and there's all the markings and what you're supposed to do with all these markings. Mm. You've got markings on the shoulders, and you'll have to do probably both sides of these. Giant wings, uh, RG markings. So I want to see some of the images they got in here. It's, it's very dark. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is the darkest RG kit we've ever had. I don't think they've done a black one before. <clears throat> yeah, so there he is when, with these uh, things out the back there and then they can splay out and then you can see the, the wires here are for those those missile looking things, missile -looking things. things. but we will of course talk about it in much more detail when we build this thing and oh. uh, show it on the show so uh, thanks for watching you people who are excited for RG's and couldn't wait for the Amatsu Mina it is here now